With more time, there can become more deeper attachments. So I mentioned attachments earlier, but when I, I made this point specific so we can talk about things like unwanted pregnancies or let's talk about planned pregnancies. And what I mean by planned pregnancies, I meant one person planned it, the other person didn't. All right. So there's a lot of situations. Society talks a lot about women planning the pregnancy when the man did it, right? And trapping the man. And that, that does happen, okay? And as a woman, I'm not here to judge right now. I'm here to simply say, if you've ever thought that having a baby with him is going to save that relationship or push things further, get that thought out your head. It doesn't work that way. Baby is not going to save the relationship. It's not going to make him to the man that you want him to make him, make him into. Never use getting pregnant as a method of trying to keep the relationship going, okay? But also be aware that the man, there are men who do the same thing. There are men who will impregnate you. There are men who will impregnate you hoping to lock you in. And yes, hoping that they can move the relationship along, maybe marry you, whatever. But they're using the baby as insurance to keep you there. And then there are men who will impregnate you with no plan to, to be seriously with you. With no plan to commit to you. Simply to have access in your life Always. Because let's face it, a baby is a deeper commitment than marriage right now. Because though we can say we well, are not supposed to get divorced, people get divorced. They can get divorced. So if two years into the marriage, you're like, I am sick of this person. I made a huge mistake. You can correct that mistake. But if you have a baby with them, it's a wrap. You got them for the rest of your life pretty much. All right. So with that said, you've got to understand that as time goes on and letting things linger on, things like that can creep in. But in addition to babies, let's also talk about the deeper attachment of finances. So I kind of gave one small example of moving in together. And so there's a lot of people that because of the moving in together, they get caught up to where now financially detaching from this person becomes problematic, all right? Maybe it's because you feel like you're not going to be able to survive without their assistance or you may feel like you, you don't want to, if you leave him, he's going to be out in the cold and have nowhere to go. Boo-hoo for him. No, I'm sorry. But you listen, it's not your responsibility, okay? That's not your problem. He has to learn how to take care of himself. But the point is, a lot of women through guilt end up getting struggling to let go, because I don't want to use the word stuck, struggling to let go in that situation. Um, and again, it creates this deeper attachment. Sometimes the loaning of money can create a deeper attachment because I've seen women who they're afraid to break up because it's like, well, if I break up with him, I ain't never going to see that money. All right. And so that fear keeps them there. There's various things, credit, co-signing on stuff, all types of stuff. All that to say, the longer the situation lingers on, the greater the chance of deeper attachments forming that, again, will only make matters worse. Now, yes, can, are there ways to avoid those deeper attachments even if you want to give the situation more time? Absolutely. But you have to be honest with yourself and you have to be aware of these things. And that's why I would say, listen, if you are going to try to give it more time, all right, then don't get caught up financially. Be mindful of what's happening in that bedroom, all these different scenarios, and be mindful of any other things that can cause you to struggle to walk away. What's hitting my spirit right now that I have to mention, one of those deeper attachments is kids. Not having kids, but let's say you already have kids and they get very good with your kids. I've seen a lot of women Struggle to let go of men because the kids love them, all right? And sometimes, and yes, sometimes it's a, it's a genuine thing that happens. Sometimes the man is actually using your kids to make it harder for you to let him go. And so there's another reason why I'm a huge believer that you don't introduce the kids until you've had enough time to evaluate that you both want to move forward together into a relationship that has to be decided first and then if you want to say okay well now the kids is that that final test before we can actually finally make it official cool 
But you need to come to that determination first because if not, again, you can find yourself struggling to break up this, what feels like a family now, be, uh, even though you now know he's not best for you. And the kids may not be at a level that they can understand he's not best for you, so they're not gonna make it any easier. So definitely pay attention to that. Hey, thank you for watching this video. Be sure to check this one out right here, and I'll see you there. There will be men who want you, but more importantly is for you to receive the man who values you. And when he's emotionally attracted to you, that value will be there. So I'm gonna lay out for you the seven signs that he's emotionally attracted to you.